So let's take a look at what the role of a designer is going to be when they begin setting their simulations up in the 3D experience platform. So what we have over here is an interesting buckle clip insertion simulation that we're going to be performing. We're going to go ahead and have the clip moved by a distance of 18 millimeters in the downward direction. We want to look at the development of the state of stress that happens in the buckle and the clip to make sure that everything is in accordance to the design specification requirements. Taking you through the situation of where the project is at this point, uh, we, have a, um, we have a project that we're working on, which is the buckle clip assembly, and we have a team assembled for that project. Project, and we've gone through an, in, uh, an internal discussion of you know, whether there's a need to go ahead and run an FEA simulation. So you can see that I've had my platform brought up through my web browser. I'm constantly communicating and collaborating with, with the team using the communities and the groups that I formed through the 3D Swim application. And there was a poll that was taken where there was a need to actually go ahead and run the study. So the yeas have it. So I'm going to go ahead and get my design data uploaded to the platform, as well as I'm going to go ahead and run my simulations and look at those results on the platform as well. So let's get started with our ever favorite SolidWorks. So I'm going to start out uh, with SolidWorks and you can see that I've gone ahead and modeled up the clip and I've gone ahead and modeled up the buckle and made an assembly out of it. Uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and see what I can actually do uh, to get this data into the 3D experience platform. So we have a nice little functionality that can be activated through an add-in, almost like how you'd activate PDM today uh, through a SolidWorks add-in functionality to pull up the 3D experience um, centric um, connector that will create a bridge between SOLIDWORKS and the 3D experience platform. And so what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is right from within the context of SOLIDWORKS, I have the ability to go ahead and, and save my model. So basically answering the question of where this component or this assembly was basically created, which obviously was in SOLIDWORKS. So you can go ahead and have the model saved, which in this case I've actually done, and that's why the status is unchanged and it's up to date. So this gives me that real-time feedback of what design changes I've made in SOLIDWORKS and will give me a notification saying if there's a need to have the data uploaded to the cloud, uh, if it's outdated and things like that. At the bottom uh, of the uh, of the task pane, you can also see more in the control on the data management side of things, being able to push the design into a frozen or like a release date. Maybe you want to branch out, look at different types of designs, or you want to go ahead and create your different revisions for your designs to brainstorm different des design changes. But right now, let me say that this is the design that I want to work with. So right from the context of that design in SOLIDWORKS, I can quickly go ahead and search for the application that I would like to open up to run my simulation, which is the mechanical scenario creation app, right? So you can see I have all the access to the functionalities of the platform right from within SOLIDWORKS. So I'm not even leaving SOLIDWORKS interface. I'm going to go ahead and get to the platform, right? And you can see that the minute I open up the design, it's going to give me more information to enter regarding my study. I'm going to say it's a buckle clip FE analysis. Let's say it's baseline because it's the first run that I'm uh, that I'm performing. And then I'm going to go ahead and begin the setup of my simulation. Now, from a packaging standpoint, it is slightly different than SolidWorks simulation, but you would, in just a few minutes, see how easy it is for us to use it. So you can, you can, you can mention the type of the simulation that you want to perform and maybe give more information regarding the iteration of that simulation. So I'm going to say it's baseline and go ahead and create an FE, FEM or a finite element model. So a finite element model really at the end of the day is a way or a means for you to create a meshed version of the geometry. Um, so you can create as many FEM finite element models you want so that you can run different types of simulations tagged to the same geometry. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to give any mesh specification because I want to create the mesh with the, uh, in a more manual fashion, so to speak. So I've gone ahead and done that. So let's go ahead and see what's, uh, what's happened in the background. So you can see that right off the bat, once I begin my simulation setup, I have a nice little virtual assistant that's going to be guiding me along the way uh, to set up my simulation from start to finish. So I'm not really having a very huge learning curve. Uh, almost uh, designers and analysts who've got some experience with simulations can quickly start uh, setting things up uh, through the applications on the 3D experience platform. 
I'm going to begin by defining the kind of study that I want to set up, which in this case is a static analysis. Um, I'm going to fine tune my parameters, give some stabilization for my simulation, and make sure to factor in the geometry nonlinearity. So I can start factoring in all of the nonlinear FX to begin with, because I might expect a certain kind of a permanent deformation. I don't know yet, but the best simulation to run or the most accurate simulation to run is a nonlinear simulation. So I'm going to go ahead and factor in all of my nonlinear geometry effects. Now that I have my statics, uh, static analysis to, um, set up as the analysis type, I'm going to walk through the tree from the top to bottom approach, give more information of the parts that's going to participate in my simulation, which is my buckle and my clip. 